Yeah, I think we can push the couch aside and make a mattress on the floor or something. You should be able to crash in my room. She usually sleeps on the couch anyway. We'll manage. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See you soon. Love you too. Bye. Ah, there you are. Welcome home. Guess what? I just got off the phone with my mom. So, she and my sister Jackie have been in town for the day, and they're going to be stopping at our place sometime tonight. Long story short, Jackie got evicted, and she's staying with mom. But there was a problem with her license or something, so they had to clear it up here in town, and they're not going to be able to get home in time. Yeah, they're just going to pop in for a bit in the late evening and spend the whole day here. Then they'll head out at sunset. Also, they already know about our whole situation. They know you're my girlfriend, and they know you're a werewolf. I already told them you were super nice, so hopefully Jackie doesn't try to, like, beat you with a silver baseball bat or something. Nah, I'm just joshing you. She wouldn't do that. Anyway, I'm gonna make them a little welcome meal. They must be hungry after being up all day. If you want to help out... Actually, please, seriously do help out because I don't trust my cooking skills and this is a really good chance for both of us to impress my family. I'll do anything you want afterwards, please. Boo-boo eyes. Boop, boop. You know you like it. Thank you! You metaphorically saved my bacon. Now, remember, what is the number one rule about cooking dinner for the Raylu family? Oh, you remembered the patience thing. I mean, that's not quite what I was talking about, but brownie points. Okay, what's the number 1.5 rule about cooking dinner for the Ray Lu family? No. No. <laughs> oh my god. Babe, you are messing with me. <laughs> it's garlic. Garlic is a no bueno, no Gucci, no vamen... Vam vamen no? Vamen... Don't put it in the food. <gasps> How about tacos? Tacos sound good. There's a lot of room to experiment there. I might have to swing by the hospital again to pick up some extra bloods. You know. Well, Jackie likes type A, mom isn't picky, and we'll set aside some for you that don't have any B-L-O-O-D in it, so that way you can still enjoy the tacos. Hmm? What? Yeah, I'm sure they'll like you. Oh, are you nervous about that? It's okay, you have nothing to worry about. Aw, hey. Hey, honey. It'll be fine, they're not bad people and neither are you. I've already assured them that you've been so nice to me. You have nothing to worry about. I understand where you're coming from, though. I'd feel the exact same way if the roles were reversed and I was meeting your parents. Well, worst comes to worst, you just smile and wave and let me do the talking. Drink some punch and let me pet you on the head. Hey. Mm -hmm. You're my good girl. And they'll see that too. There's nothing to worry about. They'll love you, I'm sure of it. And they'll love you even more if we serve them up some nice food. And if we give them a nice fluffy bed for them to sleep in. Which is fine. I need an excuse to make my bed anyway. Hmm? <laughs> Sweetie, don't forget they're vampires. I've adjusted to the typical human clock thanks to my job, but we're nocturnal. They need a dark room and a soft bed to crash in when the sun comes up. Normally they'd sleep in coffins, but those are all back home. The next best thing is a tree, but half vampires can't turn into bats, so sometimes that cautious- wait, I've told you all that, haven't I? <laughs> well, point being, let's give them a nice place to sleep in, especially for when the sun comes up, because they're going to want to sleep all day. Mm-hmm.
Hmm. Oh, no. Vampire homes are different. We never needed to invite each other in when we lived as a family. I don't know, it's weird. Dad was a human, and if he was the only one in the house, he'd have to invite us in. But if there were already others in the house, we could just freely enter whenever we wanted. It's hard to... describe. Without an invitation, you just physically can't move your body through a door space. The powers to be just do not let you. It's the same feeling as just trying to fly. You just can't. There's no physical way to do it. So I don't think they'll need an invitation when they arrive. Whenever that might- Oh! Speaking of which, that's probably them. Here, let me, let me. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hi. Welcome. Come on in. Thank you. Thank you. God, you would not believe how difficult it was to find a space to park. Your street was so crowded. We had to find a parking spot like 10 minutes down the road. Oh. Yeah, I probably should have warned you about that. Sorry. None of these houses have driveways. We're all just kind of packaged in here like sardines in a can. <laughs> Yeah, we noticed. Oh, and who's this? Uh, Jackie? This is my girlfriend. Ah, uh, I see. It's good to meet you. I'm Jackie. Please don't call me Jack. Claudia has said a lot about you. No, nothing bad. Just that you cook really well, and some other stuff. Oh, and he mentioned that you were a werewolf. Ah, uh, yes. He talked about that. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Vivian. I'll admit I was a little apprehensive when my son told me he was in a relationship with our mortal enemies, but he's assured me that you're not caught in some silly old grudges, so as long as you treat him well, we won't have any issues. Be good to him. If you break his heart, I'll break your spine. Jackie! Oh, I missed you guys. Uh, anyway, we made you some tacos if you're hungry. Mom, I brought out some fruits for you. They had a deal on pomegranates for like 25% off a pack of three. Aw, you remembered. Thank you, honey. Hey, Claudia, is there somewhere I could hang my jacket? And do you have a bathroom? I really, really need to pee. Oh, it's over this way. Here, sweetie, can you set the table for them? I'm gonna show them around the apartment real quick. Oh, you go ahead with Jackie, Claudia. I'll help her with the table. Can you show me where you store everything? Ah, yes, thank you. Here, let me. No, I insist. So, Claudia said many good things about you. He assured me in upwards of 20 times that you wouldn't try to stake us through the heart. Oh, I believed him, but you know how it is. I couldn't help but worry a little bit. It is a mother's job to worry about her children. But from the look of things, you two are really happy together, and that's good to see. Although... You could do with cleaning the countertop off a little. Are these mug stains? That boy. I taught him better than that. Mom, Claudia gave us a queen-size bed. He said they'll go sleep on the couch tonight. Oh? Well, it's no coffin, but it'll certainly do. You're both very kind. Thank you. Nah, it's no biggie. She literally bites me tooth and claw to keep the couch anyway, so I eventually just stopped trying to stop her. Can I grab some food now? I'm hungry. Of course. Let me grab chairs for everyone. So, how did the two of you meet? You've already heard the story, Mom. I haven't. Oh. Well, about a year and a half ago, our landlord moved her in with me. Because he mistook me for a girl, and a few months into it, she found out about the whole vampire thing. I never told her because I thought she already knew for some reason. But we were all chill about it. And then a few months later, boom, she drops the whole werewolf bombshell on me. But we agreed we were willing to let sleeping dogs not to let old grudges get in our way. And now here we are, fangs and fluff. Wow, I've never actually seen a vampire with a werewolf before. Only you would be crazy enough to break old traditions, Claudia. Thank you. Wait, that wasn't a compliment, was it? 
Well, at any rate, you've certainly made Claudia very happy. And as long as the two of you are happy, I suppose I'm okay with it too. Dad would probably like you too. He was always pretty chill about Mom's whole vampire thing. I'm sure he would approve of your relationship, too. He would. I'm certain of it. Aww. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how about you, Jackie? Still single. Oh, well, that's okay. Sometimes it just takes time. Well, about that, it's a bit complicated. There's two people. A guy, Isaac, that sits next to me for two classes of mine. And a girl, Sherry, she's on my lacrosse team. And they've been flirting with me. Oh, and? I don't know. They both asked me out at different times, and I had to tell them I wasn't ready because, well, they're both really sweet. And I don't want to say no to them. Why not date them both? Mom! Mom. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Uh, well... Jackie, that's a pretty tough spot. I'm... I'm sure you'll figure it out. Life's good at throwing curveballs. You never know what's gonna happen next. Maybe one of them will turn out to be a vampire or werewolf. <laughs> uh... But... I'm sorry you gotta deal with that. It must be really tough. Thanks. Yeah, it's whatever. I mean, I guess it's a good problem to have. Oh, to be so young again. Hmm? Oh, thank you. You're very sweet. She really is. Well, thanks for the meal. I'm gonna hit the trees. You'll still be home in the evening, right? Yeah, for sure. Have a good sleep. I hope sleeping in a bed isn't too uncomfy. Yes, thank you for the meal and the hospitality, darling. It was wonderful to see you again. And it was nice meeting you. Thank you both for having us here. No problem. Good night. Sleep tight. See you in the dawn of night. Night. And they're off. How do you feel? Thanks for being such a good host. I can tell they like you. Yeah, and I'm really glad you got to finally meet them. I know I talk about Mom every now and then, but me and Jackie weren't ever really all that close until a few years ago. I guess becoming adults just strengthened our bond. Or something. But now you have the Ray Lou's family seal of approval. Look at that! We've made history! Actually, that reminds me. Is your family also family of werewolves? Oh, so I'll have to swap places with you and hope a family of werewolves thinks I'm cool and lets me live. <laughs> uh, maybe I should wear a dress. Or, or, or a suit. Or maybe a suit of armor made of silver. Where am I going to get that? <laughs> uh, look at that, we've warped places. Now I'm super nervous at the idea of meeting your family. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. enough of that. Since we have the room to ourselves again, do you want to cuddle on the couch for a little bit? <gasps> Yay, cuddles! I like the sound of that.